what's going on everyone? It's me, your family family dammler, Alex the Rambler, and today we are returning to Panzer Corps 2. So a few weeks ago I covered Panzer Corps 2 and called it my favourite World War 2 strategy game of 2020. Now the publishers, Sliverin, have, uh, have come to me and offered to sponsor a video on Panzer Corps 2, so you best believe I'm doing one. And if you don't know, Sliverin are a primarily strategy focused uh, games publisher and they currently have a massive sale going on on Steam at the moment. You'll find a link in the description that will take you to the Panzer Corps 2 Steam page where you'll find that Panzer Corps 2 and its franchise are on sale for a few days with savings up to 30%. And you'll find most other Sliverin games on sale on Steam for up to 70%. So please do click on that link in the description and check out Sliverin sale. I'm sure you'll find something that you like and uh, you'll be helping out the channel as, as well as yourselves by getting yourselves some great deals. Thank you. I honestly do really, really love Panzer Corps 2 and if you like seeing it on the channel, please do comment, like and subscribe. I'm always game for delving into this title once more. It's honestly, it, it is one of my favourite games of 2020. It is really fun. You'll see a playlist as well that I've played as uh, Poland, I've done the Barbarossa, I've done the North African campaign, I don't believe I've done Curse, but I'm going to do Italy today. And I've also done one from the Axis, a video on the Axis operations. But we'll do one on Italy. So, Italy, the soft underbelly of Europe is about to be invaded! Germany must move fast, protect Italy and secure its southern blank. I will of course uh, continue to call myself Alex von Rambler, the amazing German general. So this operational initiative seems amazing. So let's give myself some operational initiative. Then I could also get myself a uh, master of Blitzkrieg perhaps, which I think I will. Then I can also uh, give myself uh, some mm, weaknesses so I can get more strengths. I think we'll do Force Dispersion. We can assign a maximum of one hero per unit. Well, that's fine. We're not really going to get into heroes at the moment. And where we're going to be facing a defensive battle, I'm going to give myself Terrain Experts. So we get one base entrenchment in any terrain, even in open ground, which is really nice. And then for the final one, I will... Ooh, encircled enemy units suffer two times penalties? I think so. And we will Why continue. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry for interrupting. Friends against the Allied invasion of Sicily, mm -hmm. but fate has conspired against us. Quite. If it hasn't happened already, I can still read the writing on the walls. The Italians have lost the will to fight. Italians. And the collapse is imminent. Given this and the lackluster Italian defense of the I'm island, sorry, Sliver. your first assignment on Sicily is to prepare to evacuate Sicily. Okay, so we need to defend all victory hexes. You must withstand any American I'll try. or British advances. Watch out for strikes here. Here, here, here. 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 I... Fall back slowly and use Mount Edna as an anchor for oh, That's going to be great, Mrs. using a freaking no mountain as an anchor not line. control of Messina, as it is your departure point from the island. Okay. You will not so easily give up the entire Italian peninsula. Of course. And I have personal assurances from high oh. command that reinforcements from the Eastern Front are en route. Find Abby Dozy. Survive, Head General. That is your mission today. Now, if you know me at all, you'll know that I'm always a very defensive-minded player in any video game. Sorry, I'm just powering up with the glasses. So this mission should fit to my strengths quite well. Now, if you don't know what um, Panzer Corps 2 is all about, well, um, I'll show you. <laughs> you have a set size army, and now I currently have 116 out of 141 core slots, so I could deploy more units, and I have a lot of prestige and money to use every turn it seems uh, so i could deploy more units right away it's turn-based it's a turn-based uh hex-based strategy game so you can see in the bottom here we have our the entire island of sicily we can see that the allies already control syracuse and that, that we're there's no we're not even going to try and stop them from taking most of the island uh, i will have my defensive points at katana Randazzo, Brolo, and then if I need to, I can defend at Messena. It looks like we have a few tanks, we have a few aircraft. I think those are my infantry as well. Uh, we have several anti-tank units. We have a, ooh, quite a bit of armor, ranging from M14s up until Tiger 1s. And I could purchase some units. Now, I think Grenadiers might be quite handy. So I'll add those to the basket. Let's get ourselves an extra bomber. Oh, where do we deploy this new infantry unit? There we go. They can go over the right there. I'll deploy my bomber. 
approximately there, and I still have plenty of money to spend, so I might get myself a super heavy tank. I don't play optimally, just so you know. Oh, a flam panzer. But here we can check out the various unit stats. So it has a soft attack of 20 and a hard attack of 21. The Panzer IV is ooh, cheaper than a Tiger, but a Tiger is overall slightly better. So do I fork out on a Tiger? You betcha. And let's get my Tiger in Mount Etna. Now that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm kind of happy with the deployment on all of these. And we will just end deployment. That's fine. I don't need extra units. I'm confident. Oh, they're bombing. They're bombing the Italian positions. Whatever. Let them fall. Oh my gosh. The Italians are getting... Oh, pounded. Okay, so we have to survive for 15 turns, which is going to be a bit tricky. So, I'll start off by using my aircraft. Uh, I'm actually going to go zoop around here and do the old firing onto their, onto their bomber. Then I think I'm going to do the same with this one, perhaps. We'll just go in and shoot down their bomber. We want to try and maintain aerial superiority for as long as possible, because it won't always be. This is like, you know, 1943. The Axis are really kind of struggling for air power at this point, I would imagine. So I'll just inflict damage wherever we can. My tanks could actually go through to Mount Etna if we needed them to, but we don't. Let's move up our forces slightly, but I still want to be able to pull back if we really need to. We'll get them into the mountains. We can get them into the mountains. Oh, please don't let Mount Etna erupt. That would be very bad for me. I don't want to be able to be pushed from this line. This is where we hold them. Scout out around here. Oh, it looks like the Italians are already scouting out around here. Where have all the Italian divisions gone? Okay, we'll attack here. We'll, uh, oh, bomb that infantry a little bit. I'm going to have to put this unit up here and try and secure this passage. We do have the high ground, but they will still be able to penetrate us a little bit, which is what we want to avoid. I'll head up into the mountains here too. I'm just trying to aim to, like, pin them down a bit. We'll inflict a bit of damage on their tank. Oh, wow, they have a... <laughs> they have a large amount of uh, <laughs> units coming in, don't they? Woo, Nelly! Let's set up on the on the mountains, up on the high ground. Having the high ground is really important. I am going to keep some units just in reserve. But the majority of the units will get gunning down. And we'll just hold for as long as possible. Okay, we took no damage. They're almost gone. Oh, I took one damage. That's fine. We can take one damage. And I have this one to go around the flanks if we want. I don't imagine this is going to be a particularly good idea, but I need to keep them kind of scouting out around, really, the all around. But you can see what, what kind of things we're doing. So we'll just end the turn here. That's one out of 15 turns. Blimey. Now we're going to get absolutely wrecked by their bomb bombers at the moment. Whatever. This stuff is already lost, so they're wasting time taking all of that. Oh, I need to do something. I need to buy more fighters. I need better air support. We will fight them in the skies. Oh, no! Well, they're already gone. Brilliant. How many divisions do they have? I'm getting a bit nervous now. So we have a massive thrust coming up here, and unfortunately, I've got a lot of my stuff already committed to this battle, which I would rather not have. So any attacks I choose to do, we're just going to get absolutely destroyed. So I'm going to have to sacrifice this airfield and probably make a defensive position here where I've got a lot of armor. So I'm actually going to fall back from this position, which is... Uh, irritating, but I don't really have much of a choice. I'm going to have to get all of my stuff into the high ground and maybe leave uh, I think that might be an Italian division. Yes, yeah, an Italian division. I'm going to have to leave them as a sacrificial lamb. Uh, up here, I'm just going to fall back. I'm going to keep whatever I've been able to get and redirect my forces down to this flank. This is where we're going to hold them, this like big old line, and it will be a horrible battle for everyone. And I need to purchase more fighters. More air cover up here. And more cover down here. And then I can actually take out their Spitfire. Okay, let's see what the allies are going to install for us now. Oh, balls. It looks like they're doing a bit of a cautious advance. What's that about? <laughs> Don't encircle me up. Ooh. Oh, they're repairing stuff. They're sending more tanks up. Yeah, they're being very cautious. So the AI actually isn't uh, too bad here. I'm actually pretty impressed. I was hoping they wouldn't be this cautious. I'll try and use my Panzer IV against their Wolverine. Okay, that was worth the one damage we took. Down here is where they're using all of their air, but I also have a pretty nice airfield here. So we'll just turn them around, 
keep flamming. Oh, they have a lot of bombers. They have a lot of bombers. I need this unit to get through. <laughs> oh, we have the, we're on the high ground now, so I think that they will start taking fire with our anti-aircraft. That's fun. Let's cause some damage over there, Porty. And let's just take that out completely. Good. They're taking damage. Damage! This is such a fun game. I, I, I can't reinforce this enough. If you're looking for a fun experience, well, uh, just a fun RTS to play, please do click on the link. Go check out Sliver in Sale. Uh, you, not only do you help out my channel, because, you know, clicking on that link is very important, but you can also get yourself some great deals on some fantastic titles by Sliver in. Make it so! Okay, I'm just going to get most of my units to sleep. They don't really need to do much apart from hold this manic position. Oh, balls! Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, now they can just go in my rear. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The amount of aircraft they have is too damn high. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, they're really going for aerial superiority. This might beat me. Just the... Uh oh What? Excuse me? When the... What? They have a navy now. They have a navy. <laughs> this is my problem. My positioning is generally quite bad. Ah! Oh, well, that was a silly decision by that unit, wasn't it? I need to get that Neverworth back. Oh, we, we, oh, we pushed them back from whence the har. That's a recon unit. What am I doing with recon units on the... Stop shooting me! Oh, my God, it's only turn four, and already I'm just, like, crying. We'll keep up with the fire on this unit. Now that they're encircled, I might be able to finish them off. I, ah, uh, it's... Yeah, that's annoying. Almost. Ah, this tank might be lured into a trap here, so we bomb them. Then I can send in my anti... Oh, my grenadiers are useless. Okay, what if I send in this bad boy? Yep, now they now they took quite a bit of damage. Great. Okay, we have another artillery piece in position. They're great for suppressing the enemy units. Our Neverworther can also fire. The Italian units, I'm sorry, are, are really quite lame, but we did force them back from that position. Uh, they had to retreat. So the high ground is working for us here. We've got them kind of in a bottleneck that I hope I can hold. Oh, what pounding are we in for this time? Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> oh, the amount of bombers they have. They are going ham on my anti-tank. They won't send the tank to fight you. In fact, there it goes. Yep, they've defeated my anti-tank. But here is just a bottleneck. They won't... They're not... Oh, balls. Okay. I need to reevaluate when my line is weak. Okay, if we go out to this view, you can see, like, they could go around my pos defensive position here. I do have the money to purchase more units, though, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a Hummel and a Panzer IV. I know I probably should have bought more aircraft, but uh, hey-ho. We can only deploy mm, new items here, which is annoying. So they need to. we need our current forces to hold um, longer. Shoot down their fighter. Oh, balls! No, it's not shot down! Ah, oh. Crumdilliums. This is annoying. I had no idea that they had, that they could send artillery. Uh, navy. They have navy. They have naval superiority. How dare they? I'll have to stay there with that tank. I've committed too much over to this front. I'm, I've weakened myself here in the mountains too much. <sighs> Don't panic. Oh, our plans are four. Fantastic against that infantry unit. Then we'll send in some artillery and then our final tank can actually go and fin completely finish off an infantry division. I'm actually going to keep it in the high ground. I'm going to let them keep coming to me. I'll let the Italians take the damage from the mass attack. Five and five. Oy. Okay, putting artillery on the high ground is where we want to be. I should have done that from the start. That's my mistake. I need these divisions to come down zippity quick. Oh my god, this is so tricky to... I am honestly tempted to fall back to my final Messena and hold, but uh, I can deploy reinforcements there, so that isn't too much of a problem trying to hold there for now. I reckon I can hold there for a couple more turns. This is going to be tricky. Oh, wow. They're, they're, they, what are these bad boys? They're just... Mosquitoes. Oi, ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Are they going to fire? Ah, no, my pe artillery piece. It's gone. Oh, no. Oof. Oof. They've been decorated heroic defense. Thank you. Oh. Doesn't make much of a difference if they're going to get blown up in a... <laughs> they're level two. Oh, never mind. They leveled up twice and then they got blown up. Utterly. 
I might start withdrawing my forces to Randazzo, though. Yeah, I'm going to get out what I can, but it's not going to be much. I have an opportunity to take out one of their tanks here, so I think I'm going to go for it. Oh, balls, I've got another one. This is the problem with being unable to scout. Oh, my lordy! How many... Okay. Uh, I'm going in full retreat mode. I'm eating it out of my various... We'll reform in Mount at Mount Etna. This is a full-scale retreat. Withdraw and rebuild. We're going to lose a few divisions, but that's okay. I have the money to buy more of them, but there's no way I can hold the, these positions. This one is... I might be able to hold when I can get my reinforcements down. But yes, we're going to have to hold in Mount Etna. I hate doing a full-scale retreat, but I don't really see what else I'm really able to do at the moment. I will just have to hold at Etna. I will purchase extra units... I have no choice but to do that. Okay, so I can deploy my aircraft. My strategic bombers, I think, are going to be deployed right in safety. My infantry, I have to deploy back here. My artillery piece, I have to deploy back there. And then my uh, tactical bomber, I think I'll deploy here. Keep delaying. That's all we can do here. Just keep delaying. We're almost at the halfway mark, and I am struggling. And this is on normal difficulty. Do you want to do this challenge for yourself? Just click on that link in the description. A fighting withdrawal isn't work well. The, the, the Italians were the sacrifice this turn. Sorry, Italians. How much armor do they have? Holy moly! We're outnumbered. Outgunned. <laughs> Insert Hamilton quotes here. At least I'm in a position to deal a bit of damage with my bombers. I'll strategic bomb the heck out of the infantry that they have here. They're vulnerable to it, so... We'll give it a go. Oh, my infantry are getting left behind in this route. Yes, they, they're getting very left behind. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Man, you can just see the influx of their units just coming and coming and coming. Now, as this is one of the uh, latter campaigns, I'm presuming this is why the difficulty is really spiking. So if it looks like I'm doing a bad job, well, that's maybe partly true. But I am, <laughs> I am also doing uh, one of the uh, harder campaigns here. Okay, they're going to go around to Brollo, so I need to get some sort, sort of... Sort of defensive force up there. Pretty sharpish. Uh, I will stick this tank up here. This tank can slowly move up here. <laughs> My retreating unit from up here got cut off. And uh, yes, we're in a bit of trouble there. Uh, here we go. The Hummel now coming into its own. Kablam! With that nice heavy shot. Five more turns. And they need to... Con they, they still haven't taken a point. So... Maybe, maybe I can just hold <laughs> for a few more turns. Oof. Okay, all of my forces here are now have been obliterated. Our defences are almost in place. I know that won't be enough to kill them, but... Oh, it was! They surrendered. Okay, so we've got one more unit to surrender. I mean, it's just um, scary at this point how durable the allied units are. Oh, getting these grenadiers was a bad choice. They're taking forever to get anywhere. I should have bought them with motorised. That would have been a better choice. Hmm. <laughs> Not a lot I can do to this rapidly advancing mega uh, attack with their armor here. Uh, let's try and weaken them a little bit. All I've managed to assemble is, what, two tanks and an artillery piece so far? We're getting a third tank in. We've got a Panzer IV, a Tiger one. We've got some infantry coming over, and we've got another Tiger supported with artillery. If that's not enough, I am doomed. Okay, what's the sit rep? The tanks are trucking. They're, they're, they're kind of going to be pinned down here, though. I've got them stuck for now, maybe. Let's start taking out, taking out the tanks. I think it's worth, worth, worth doing this. So then they withdraw. I send this here. Deal six damage. I can actually pursue with the... Ah, they're only going to take one damage. That's, that's infuriating. Damn it. Their armor train is coming in. We'll get a pack 41 with motorized so we can get it in uh, into position pretty zippity quick. Um, I'm going to make it very difficult for them. I'm just going to use a lot more strategic bombers. Okay, we're on turn 11. It's getting it's getting a lot tougher. I run out, run out of oh my god, the amount of armor that's coming in. But the amount of uh, damage I can do, I think, increases with my new strategic bombers. We can deal three damage. Here I can deal five just willy-nilly. Then they have to withdraw. We'll inflict more damage of the artillery. Some damage against their artillery. Some more damage to the tanks. I'm doing what I can with the resources at hand. Okay, so 
the sit rep towards the end of this video, as you can see, we're holding like this long, thin line, trying to hold against the allied assault. I'm glad I abandoned that original position because that wasn't tenable. I was being too optimistic, but their advance now is very slow. Just keep bombing them just to be irritating. Then we've got artillery down to fire. But they can fire back. Unfortunately, I have tanks. Goodbye! Okay, so we're actually doing a fantastic job at holding them here. I think that's two pieces, <laughs> two armor pieces taken out. Oh, that's that's brilliant. And then we'll move forward slightly more. I'm being a bit of I'm being a bit overly aggressive because we're in such a strong defensive position that we're forcing them back. Like their armored attack here has failed at the moment for like another turn at least. Turn 13. Okay. Okay. We still hold four out of four points at the moment, so we're we're holding. We've lost the majority of the island. But we are holding now. This defensive line is working. Mostly. They dealt five damage to my tank. What? You do that to a tiger? With infantry? What the frick? Kablam. Man, the tigers are really tasty. I am very happy I managed to fall back in mostly good order to this defensive line. I don't think I can lose now. I think I've got to a point... Well, they're pinned down so much. I mean, they ah, balls. They got through that position up there. I'm surprised the amount of damage they do uh, when they're attacking up into a mountain against tiger divisions. Uh-oh. Well, that unit's wiped out. Yep, goodbye. Yeah, my defensive lines are starting to fail now, aren't they? Me. I don't think I can lose now. What I should have said was nothing. I should have, I should have remained quiet. Okay, so we turn 15 out of 15. Um, I think I've won. This is satisfying. This is satisfying. When, So my advice, if you're about to play this, uh, use your air force first, then your artillery, and then the rest of your uh, things, uh, like infantry and tanks. That's what I have made, my main mistakes have been, um, is getting that kind of sorted out, really. Oh, wow. Yeah, my defences are just about to fail. Actually, if I just ended my turn, would I just win? I probably would, right? I'm going to risk it. Hey, I did. Okay. Woohoo! So we won in Sicily. Wow. That was tricky. But um, I think all of our unit, a lot of our units performed very nicely indeed. So, uh, once again, thank you very much to Sliverin for sponsoring this video. And all you need to do to grab all of the... Uh, all of their titles for a massive discount is to go and click on the link in the description. That'll take you to the Panzer Corps uh, 2 link. And from there, you can click on their publisher page and find out the rest of the stuff that's on sale. So thank you once again to Sliverin for sponsoring the video. Honestly, this is one of my favourite World War II strategy games. Uh, so if you do want to pick it up, I heartily recommend you do while it's on sale. But thank you again. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Toodaloo! Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Brandon Preston, Tadhouse, Vash, Warren P. George, Valhalla Halls, Yao Boy, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous ramp supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too! One take, one take rambler there. <laughs>